Here we go. All right. Hey! You got it. <laughs> We're live. Welcome, Waterbox Wednesday. We are here and again in the studio. Exciting yes. to be back yes. here. It's nice to be back in here. Uh, we're live, you guys, on Facebook and YouTube. Make sure you like the video, subscribe on YouTube, like us on Facebook, all that good stuff. Share. Share. Hey! Share the stream. Oh, <laughs> I missed one this week. <laughs> That's okay. You've been doing really good. There's and a I lot of people in here, Jess. I know. People are excited because yeah. we're announcing some stuff, giving away yeah. some stuff. So People like free stuff. Yes, they do. We are going to be starting an awesome new series next week. Mm -hmm. And to kick it off, we are going to actually start and give away some swag with this show. All you got to do is tell us what fish you would put in a cube 10. Yep. So you guys heard that right. What, what fish would you put in a cube 10? I know there's going to be a lot of jokes coming through. Yep. Drop your comments and we will actually pick one of those to start giving away some swag. We'll be right back after this. Mark for Blenny. Hey guys, we're hey. back. We're trying to find some names of some winners here because we are going to give away two shirts right now. We're giving away one on YouTube, one on Facebook. Yes, one on YouTube, one on Facebook. So for Facebook, we have uh, Mark, and he says he would put a Blenny in a cube 10. Nice. One of my favorites. So I love the Blennies. Mark, you got a Reef t-shirt coming your way. We will reach out to, uh, to you or vice versa on YouTube. Who are you going? We got... It's a, they're scrolling. They're I going. Had one, I had one. They're, they're flying in. <laughs> Jeep in Chef says he would put ice clowns in a cute Oh, very nice. Yeah. So congratulations, you guys. Reef shirts for them. Yeah. So um, you got right now names? No. Yes. Jeep in well, Chef. Okay. Keenan's got the names, <laughs> so we can reach out. Um, or you can also email us at support at waterboxaquariums.com with your information, and we'll get a shirt going for you. Um, we have a ton of people with some great ideas for fish for a uh, cube 10, goby and pistol shrimp. We've got starry blenny, which are a really cool version of blennies. Um, someone's got jokes and says blue tang. <laughs> but I know <laughs> I, they're joking because we would that, not do that. I knew that was gonna come through. I think I got one of those too. Yes. So <laughs> I'm looking at you guys here on YouTube. It's funny because I knew that was gonna happen. Again, a lot, of, a lot of people telling what fish they would put in a cube 10. We got a lot of people being funny with their fish choices. We got a queen trigger as one. Someone says um, a lot of people are actually going with gobies, pistol shrimp, and blennies. Of course, I clown see a lot fish. Of, which a are lot your of gobies. Ones. Yes. Clowns. Um, Some people are saying mandarins. Which I got a beta fish. Big. So we got a freshwater person oh, here. That's Citron fair. goby, yellow watchman. My wife says she would put a basking shark <laughs> in the cube tent. I don't think they make a miniature version of that just yet. Frog so. fish. Yeah. Lots of good ideas. That would be cool if they did, though, right? Yes. I would love some miniature sharks or dolphins or something like that <laughs> that I could keep or a sea turtle. But they don't exist. So, But for cube tents, why yeah. are we talking about a cube yeah. tent? So let's, let's dive into why we're talking about cube tents, guys, because we have a really cool series that we're going to be starting next week. Wish we could start it this week, but it is next week. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But we're giving you guys away. Stick around because we're giving away more T-shirts on this show. Um, but we're, we're starting a... A guide, a four-part series, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. On how to set up a nano aquarium using our Cube 10 that you see right here. So it's going to be a really cool series. And the reason that you want to tune in, tell them why they want to tune in, guys. So we are going to be giving away a Cube 10 on every episode of it, and we'll actually have a finale prize. Yeah. Um, that will also you can enter into. So we actually have our website up. There is a page for this to where you can enter in. Um, is this in the, the description, Keenan? Um, yes, the link is in the description. It's also on the home page at the very bottom. Okay. So, guys, you want to get to this page, you can start signing up now for the grand prize. The grand prize is listed there on the page. Um, you can either go to the link in the description, you can get there from our home page of our website as well. So, you can start signing up here and you can enter weekly. Is that correct, Tina? So, so get, yeah. So, it is going to be. The first three episodes is going to be, we give it away live on the show. Yeah. Right? So Cube 10 live on the show of the first three weeks. And then the final one is the one that you're signing up for, and that's going to be drawn on the last show, and that is the plus edition of yep. the Cube. So. And I believe some swag going along with that plus edition as well. And socks. So we're giving and away. Socks. <laughs> and socks. Fresh socks. 
So four weeks, four cube tens, and one of those being a plus edition. Yeah. You can uh, go in there each week uh, that we're live to uh, enter for the grand prize. Mm -hmm. So that's cool that we're giving away, you know, ten cubes, and that's a lot. Um, a lot of fun, but it's going to be a great series because it's going to be extremely educational for a lot of people mm -hmm. that want to set up a nano or a first tank. And we're going to go over things like why do you pick, like what are your choices for rock? Why would you pick certain ones? What do you need to consider when you're doing a sand or how to stock your tank? Right. Um, you know, a lot of good education go with it, and we're going to show kind of like different ways to do it. Right. We're doing two. Yes. I got one. Yeah. He's got one. So if you guys haven't watched, we did a cube battle a while back, so we did a little competition. This is a little bit different. We're, we're kind of educating you guys how to set these up. But both me and Jess are going to be setting up our own cube tent, so it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be right here. Yeah. So it's going to be right here on the studio with us, side by side. Um, and we're going to pick a few different ways to do each of ours to show you multiple ways or products that you can use mm -hmm. um, to set up a successful nano tank. So it's yep. going to be really cool, really nice and educational. Um, you'll get to see over the course of four weeks for the cubes to come alive. Yep, yep. So it's going to be a lot of fun. If you guys aren't familiar with the cubes, definitely after the stream, jump on our website, take a look at them. They're in two sizes. We have a 10 and a 20 gallon, by mm -hmm. far one of our most popular aquariums. Um, so we want to do put together this really cool four part series for you to kind of assist them in setting up a, a, a nano, a saltwater nano. A saltwater aquarium. nano. Yes. I feel like our studio is actually going to become very full of <laughs> aquariums. Um, we went from having nothing, we set up our beautiful Clear 16 planted yes. aquarium, which is here doing here. beautifully here. Our java fern is actually spreading like babies on them, so we're going to actually propagate. Um, the uh, baby tears are starting to fill in nice, all the fish are happy. Um, it's doing really, really good. So yeah, it's actually doing really nice. All things considered, because we haven't been in the office very much. No, yeah. Um, you know, because we're doing the whole distancing thing, so we've, you know, maintained it as we come in. But it's looking really nice. The plants look good. Yeah. And I'm really liking it. I do. I, I like having Kenan, that on here. I think Keenan might inherit this tank for his office when it's all said and done. Keenan's our freshwater guy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're gonna have three tanks on our studio table here. This thing gonna, this is gonna work out for us. I, I sure hope so. <laughs> We're gonna find out in one to two weeks. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be just aquariums everywhere. It's gonna be yeah, a lot of fun it. though. So again, you guys, four weeks, exactly how you, how we would set up a saltwater nano aquarium. It's gonna be a lot of fun, mm -hmm. a lot of giveaways. So definitely tune in for that starting next Wednesday. We got a ton of people in here watching Jess. Yeah, and anyone has questions or anything, I mean, we're open to you know answering that. We're gonna do uh, one more giveaway of shirts. And if we wanted to say yes. anything or just pick something, I don't know. Yes. What do you want? You want? Let's see. What would be a good question? Like throw it into the coral side. The coral right. you would put in. What is your favorite coral for a nano tank? Comment. We'll pick one from each of them, and you'll get a shirt as well. Yeah, so, so your favorite coral for a nano. Let's see ahead, what guys. people say. We That's a pretty uh, open uh, interpretation, kind of yeah, anything, uh, I would I'm, say. I'm interested to see if there's any funny answers to it. <laughs> And this would influence what you guys are going to put into the tank, right? Right. It could give us some ideas on um, the corals and fish and stuff to do for each of our nanos because we're going to stock them, I would say, probably reasonably different just to show two yep. different ways to do it. Um, so we've got hammer, zoas, a scully. Yeah, that's the thing about anything can go into a nano probably, unless it's a massive piece to start with and stuff like that. <laughs> okay, let's have more people. So we have people commenting over there. We do. I got. I'm waiting for a few to come through. Torch. We got Blasto. There's a delay here on YouTube, so I'm like waiting. All of a sudden, they just start spamming. <laughs> um, we got toadstool zoos, or zoas, as some people. Scolies. I like that one. Mm -hmm. So, waiting. mushrooms. Yeah. TTB says SPS. That's a tough one. That that would actually be um, really tough in a nano. I mean, it can definitely be done. Um, mm -hmm. I think whenever we were doing our like cube 20 highlight a couple weeks ago um you can find that video on youtube is we actually showed a, quite a couple people that did yep. like almost a full sps system in a cube 20 and i mean they had a lot of equipment to go along with it but it's definitely possible yeah but it's yeah. not your starter way to do things that's yeah, for I've sure seen very small sps tanks but you got to be pretty dialed in and i would say leave that for the professionals yeah. we're going to show you guys how to set up uh like a beginner Saltwater reef aquarium. Easy, beautiful, yeah. someone who's never had one or never had like a small version, because it is very different. You can have a big tank, but when you go over to having like a small nano, it's very different how you do it. Yeah. So even if you had a big one, it can be, you know, something that you kind of have to, a learning curve on by yeah, starting absolutely. something small. 
Absolutely. So we got, I'm going to, I got here, Daryl B says, Duncan, Daryl B, you got a shirt coming your way, a reef shirt. So um, congratulations on I'm that gonna, one. I'm going to go here. We got lots of them. We got blastozoas, mushrooms. Um, Mike D says plate corals. I love plate corals. I There's too. some really cool ones out there. So I'm going to go with that one just because it is an <laughs> uncommon one. There so um, Mike D, you are going to get a shirt on that one and Keenan's got written down but you can also email support at waterboxaquariums.com and we'll get you hooked up love it so we've only been live for 10 minutes <laughs> <laughs> we'll take questions uh yeah, you guys have topics. any questions what, what, what questions do you guys have for us it can be about the 10 gallon aquarium setting them up uh, i had a question here do you have a, can you guys do a show on how to set up the ai lights um, I believe we've done that before, have we not? Maybe back on a Blue Friday or we've, something like that. Yeah, we have done it to show like the program and stuff like that. Um, probably not just a full show only dedicated to it, but it is mixed into some of those. Uh, and I want to say that Blue Friday AI did something showing the Yeah. Um, Guys, thing? we're only like 160 episodes of Waterbox Live, so... Uh. There's somewhere in there. <laughs> 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 so Jacob says light recommendations for a 29 gallon cube I would definitely say a prime um, the AI prime is a good one we use that on all of our cubes all in ones and marines with the plus edition and it's mm -hmm. a great light easy to use um, full functionality uh, so for a 29 cube it would be perfect for that so that's for Steve or no Jacob asking that absolute carrot says when's my light coming what light <laughs> if you do have a light on order, I did hear that uh, Aqua Illumination has shipped us a bunch of stuff, so it should be any day now. Yeah, reach out to customer service, they can help you, but uh, it's all shipping, so you're like, what light? <laughs> did you order a light? We don't have that information <laughs> handy right now. Did you order a light bulb? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> um, we're just kidding around. Yeah. Steve says, any plans to provide some add-ons to convert the ATO chamber in, in the sump into a fuge? Um, no, but we have seen a lot of people in our user group. Do check them out on Facebook, the mm -hmm. official um, Waterbox user group. And there's a lot of different ways. I've seen three, four, five different ways that you can do it. And a lot of great pictures and information from other users um, yeah. to do it easily yourself. So we won't have anything for that, but you can definitely find a lot of information in the user group. Absolute Carrot says, how many corals for a 20-gallon cube? That really depends. Does, yeah, there's, it's, it's not very really... Variable. Yeah, you can't really answer something like that because you could pick five big corals mm -hmm. and your tank would be completely full. Um, you could start out with a lot of little tiny frags and have more time. Mm -hmm. Eventually, all corals continue to constantly grow, so they're going to run into each other, have territory okay. issues and stuff like that. Um, but there's no like set number like it is like fish. You know? Yeah, I think that really the biggest thing to pay attention to is you know the placement of the corals. Um, what type of corals you plan on keeping from the very beginning? You know, if you're keeping a lot of soft corals, typically they can bump into each other a lot. Mm -hmm. If you're doing like LPS, you want to be more careful with those because they're going to sting each other. So you just got to be cognizant of what and where you're putting things more so than how many. I would yeah. Think, you know? Yeah. And the size of them, what type they are and how they're going to grow is going to mm -hmm. be um, thing. And then another one that kind of ties back with the other one that someone asked is, do you make the additional manifold hookup for a reef 70.2 plumbing? Um, no, but we do have an article that shows the pieces that you can do to make your own. And also in our user group, um, we've had a lot of people make their own manifold that would give you the information for that. So mm -hmm. lots of things you can add on yourself. Love it. We got burnt 650. He said, what did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> you missed... You missed four t-shirts that we just gave away. Uh, but what you won't miss is next week, we're starting uh, a mini series on setting up a cube 10, and we're gonna be giving away a cube each week. So make sure you turn in, tune in next week and the weeks after that. Yeah, and don't forget, you gotta go onto the website and sign up there for the grand prize, which will be done on the final episode. Um, and that's gonna be for the 10 cube plus edition. So you do wanna get onto the website, get signed up, sign up weekly to increase your chances. Um, and then of course, tune in live to um, all of our shows because we'll be doing the live giveaway there for the 10 cubes leading up to the finale. Super easy, sign up, free stuff, gotta love it. Yeah. Let's see. Oh. I'm trying to read through the comments here. I know. There's a lot. <laughs> <Todd's coming. laughs> There's a lot. Uh, Freddie says water change every week. It really depends. Um, a lot of times you'll find the general consensus is every every other week, but it depends on the mm. type of tank you keep. And nanos, if you can do a small water change weekly, would probably be better than bi-weekly mm. or every other week. 
Um, but it just depends on like your nutrient load, what you're keeping. Uh, every week to two weeks is good. Yeah. I'm going to give them an early tip, Jess, with a tank that's this size, 10 gallons. A little early tip mm -hmm. is make sure you keep it topped off frequently. Yes. An ATO is actually a really good investment yeah. for our nano tank. Um, we have set it up with the uh, XP Duetto a lot mm -hmm. because it, it any little bit of evaporation will fluctuate your salinity a lot more yeah. in a small tank than in a big tank. Um, so you know, having top off or topping off one to two times a day would be really, mm -hmm. really good for salinity. One of the, the things early on that I learned the hard way, obviously, you know, with saltwater aquariums, is topping off and making sure that you're topping off. Really automate it. Yeah, Not, as don't much do it as manually, possible. Uh, because those fluctuations in salinity is, is a really big key indicator for how successful your saltwater aquarium is going to be. And I learned that the hard way, so that's why we're here to tell you guys. <laughs> what not to do yeah. on your do uh, nano tank. And those are, like I said, if you've had a big tank, if you have a small tank, you don't think you know evaporation is that big of a deal as much because it doesn't affect it. But when you have a small tank and you go one or two days without doing a top off, I mean, you yeah. could creep up a couple points in your salt, and then you go with all this fresh water in, and it goes like this, and it's just like, yeah. and if you do anything, <clears throat> do anything more than just like really, really hardy corals, it's going to affect their growth and health and everything, yeah. so as well as the fish to some extent. Got Michelle, it says she plans to buy the 20 gallon, so the 20 gallon is the big brother of this 10 gallon <laughs> here. So. Uh, Simon says, are you just still doing the Frag 105 build? Yes, yes we are. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> we were just talking about that earlier. Yeah, unfortunately it's just been pushed back a bit because of um, just with having social distancing, not being mm -hmm. in the office as much, we haven't had a chance to start because uh, it's a big eight, ten week series. Like it's a lot to do yeah, with that one. Yeah, there's a lot of pre-production that's going into that series. So the fact that we haven't been able to be in the office as much is the key reason we haven't done that. Um, but it is slated. It's going to be a killer series. Yeah, it and it's just sitting out there staring, know, waiting to be I set know. up. Um, it's going to be a great series, but we wanted to do something that was a little bit, um, you know, in the meantime, just do something yeah. with it, the 10s and show something on the nano side, then we'll end up being able to move yeah. over to the frag. So it's still coming. I don't know exactly what date yet, though. What's really cool is I'm seeing a lot of frag 105.4s, which is the one we have out there mm -hmm. in the user group. Yes, there's been a uh, lot of up. them. So if you guys want to see some of those from other users, definitely hop on over to Facebook and join that group. All right, Steve wants to know, what are your favorite corals for a nano? My favorite corals for a nano. Mm -hmm. I'm I've always been a sucker for like the really easy stuff because it doesn't really take much effort. Yeah. But I like green star polyps. And <laughs> I saw some people in here saying no green star polyps. <laughs> I want them. You want them. I want right. the branching ones that Tran has from the previous episode. Those are cool. Those yeah. are cool. I will say those I would probably put in a tank just yeah. because they are so unique with how they grow. Yeah. I would have to say mine would be like blastos and acans. Last those they can. Yeah. I like, uh, I'm a big fan of the LPS. I like euphilias a lot. Those are cool. Those are hard um, in a small tank because they do flow around a lot. Yeah. That's the only yeah, problem with true. those. Um, yeah, GSP. I think yeah. that there's been some people in here that are overly successful with green star polyps. <laughs> and they've just like carpeted their tank <laughs> and then taken it over so they don't want them anymore. One of the cool things I've seen it's with green star polyps is if you, say if you're going to do like a bare bottom, tank is to actually let the green star pulps cover the whole bottom glass of the tank mm -hmm. and it looks like this yeah. big bright green field that's really cool. Aldrin's tank had that right like kind of covering so. the, bottom, the bottom and then you can also do like your back glass and yeah. your like overflow done that that's pretty cool if they stay off the rock they're easy to maintain because you can just scrape them off yes you can pretty much just peel them out wherever yeah. they're growing so but do be aware of those encrusting type of corals in a small tank because then it will just be star polyps. As beautiful as that may be, it's not what most people would want. <laughs> and do we're going to put a skimmer on these? Uh, probably not because we're just going to show them just set up pretty simple. Um, mostly easy beginner corals and mm -hmm. uh, fish for this. So on this one we're not going to probably do a protein skimmer. We've done them on the cube 20s when we set them up but not necessarily the cube 10s. Yep. So we got Lane says he's having some errors on the website. Don't know if that's actually happening, but we'll take a look at that if it is the case. Again, you Check guys, I have a link in the description to head to our website um, to start entering now for the four, for the 10 gallon uh, cube giveaways, which start next week. Yeah. So. Awesome. I love it. I know. We're excited. We're going to start getting prepared and ready and everything for the series to begin. Yeah. So you guys, all there's a lot of people that tuned in this week. I expect to see you guys back next week because that's when the 
the real fun starts. And Someone's the real winning giveaways. a cube yeah. next week. Someone's yeah. winning a cube 10 next week. So yeah. um, Definitely tune in. Um, thank you guys for joining. And we'll see you next week. Yep. Yeah.